Hello everybody, today is day five of make a video in two hours challenge and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple bash script that uh, will call the apt update and apt upgrade. Okay, let's get started. Let me pull up a terminal here. And as you see, the uh, keys are being logged, so you'll be able to um, uh, follow along with any of the vim commands that I give. Okay, here we go. So let me see what files I have here. And I have a file called update.sh. You can probably see that right there. Update.sh. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open that with vim. Vim update. And I can use my tab completion. And now I'm inside here. So when you're running uh, bash scripts, you need to tell the script where bash is held. So to do that, I'm going to run an external command and uh, append the results to the line at the top. So start out, I put myself in insert mode and I have to have um, dollar sign or not, uh, no, pound, pound sign and then exclamation mark. Now I'm going to uh, escape and then I uh, press colon. Then I'm going to give the command read um, exclamation point again, and where is bash? And you see the line has been printed, and see it's all of the information. I only am interested in this portion right here, okay? So I can delete that word, delete that word, go um, and then uh, jump forward by a word, visual to the end, delete, okay? And then I can jump to the uh, beginning of the line, insert, and there. Now I have the information that I need. So that is the command for where bash is being stored, user slash bin slash bash. Okay, now I need to give some simple shell commands. So sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, and this, the, the next command I give, you will want to be a little careful of because if you want to confirm what, uh, what updates are being done, then you would not give the dash Y flag. Uh, y stands for yes in this application, and it says that anything that is going to be upgraded, I'm automatically going to say yes to it. Um, for, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave that flag off. Do with it as you will. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is, uh, it's not an absolutely essential step, but I always like to make a call to auto remove. So sudo apt auto remove, and this I don't mind having the, uh, oh, and then dash dash purge, dash dash purge, and I don't mind giving a yes on this command, okay? Now, that will call apt and, um, and that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, I like to also, and this is probably a little bit of overkill, but I also like to follow up the exact same commands using apt-get. There, I believe apt is the front front end uh, uh, um, version of apt-get, but I like to just just do the whole thing. So I'm going to go visual down, yank, and then put. And then I think I can, let's see if I can do this here. So I need to put myself in, uh, first in escape. And then I believe I can go into control, what is it? Control V, select all that, and then shift I. And now I type get escape. Yes, good. So you saw that command I gave. I uh, put myself into a, a type of visual mode. Uh, I forget, uh, did it give me the little indicator? If I go to control V, yeah, visual block. So it it um, uh, captures whole blocks of text, okay? Once I had uh, all of the lines selected that I wanted to add text to, then I pressed shift I, and it's a type of insert that allows you to write to multiple lines, okay? So now I, I make the exact same calls uh, using apt-get, sudo apt-get update upgrade, auto-remove, dash dash purge, dash dash y. Now, 
I want to confirm that this uh, the that these commands worked. So I need to um, check and see if there was any sort of error message that was logged. To do that, I do that. I uh, perform that task this way. So I use dollar sign question mark if it is equal. If it is equal to zero, then I can echo successful successful am I spelling that right? Successful update and upgrade. There we go. Else so what this is saying is the status of the last executed command. If the status was, uh, if it operated successfully, then it would have a status of zero. If there was an error, so if for some reason apt uh, failed to update or upgrade, then it would have um, a value other than zero. So what it's saying is if the status, so line 11 is saying if the status of the last executed command, namely one of the apt one of the apt uh, commands, if it is equal to zero, in other words, it was executed properly, then echo successful update and upgrade. Else, else, I need to echo. And for this, I can just grab this line, uh, yank the line, put it, delete word over unsuccessful update and upgrade uh, and I'll add a, uh, another line here let's see I think I can do use my backslash can I use backslash in yes backslash in um, check your script Uh, or was it check your script or hmm we'll just do check your script okay else and then what else uh, do I I think I then have to add a fee yeah so uh, any sort of branching structure in uh, a bash script if it's an if statement it always has to end in fee okay if else and then fee okay and that is that is it. So let's see here. Once again, you give the uh, path to bash, you then run your commands, and then you uh, check to see if those commands uh, operated successfully. So let's write and actually we'll write and quit. So for that, I can do shift ZZ, clear my screen. In order to make this script um, executable, we need to change, uh, we need to change its permissions okay so for that we do uh, ch mod u plus x and then update dot sh just confirm that that is correct and it is u plus x okay so let's go ahead and run that command now if I do the dot actually let's do ls and you see that the color had, had and now changed for update dot sh before it was kind of that tannish uh, white color, and now it is green, meaning that it is executable. Okay, so I can do dot forward slash update, and I'm going to enter my password, but for that I need to first not show that on the screen. Okay. And it's going to run through all of its commands here. And so you see now it says uh, that after this operation, 339 uh, kilobytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? And for that, I give the command yes. Y for yes. Continues to run. Okay, and as you, as you see, the script ran, but you see that there was an error somewhere in, uh, in the command. And it could be... Let's see, I know that there are some problems. Uh, let's see, the repository. You see, this is for a particular repository I'm looking for from my 
Wacom tablet. Uh, hopefully, no, I need to make that a little smaller. There we go. Hopefully, that's not too small for you. But as you can see, um, the Wacom tablet, it says, where is that? Um, repository uh, does not have a release file. Updating from such a repository can't be done successfully and is therefore disabled. So there have been some problems with uh, the uh, the commands. So, and you can see that what it printed was unsuccessful update and upgrade. Check your script. Okay. Um, and we can actually see that that there was a problem in the script itself. Not only yeah, so echo, update and upgrade, check your script. So it says that it's missing a square bracket. So let's let's open up. Let me turn my screen key back on. And let's go ahead and take a look at update.sh. And it says that it's missing a square bracket. I think this has to have a space in between the zero and the square bracket. Let me confirm that that is the case. And yes, that appears to have been the issue. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, put this on another line here. And let's call echo again. Echo. There we go. And then I have to add. There we go. And oh, what did I do? I guess I was entering the wrong command. Okay, very good. So let's run that again. Update.sh. And you see that there was no problem with the script. There was no problem with the calls because of this line here, successful update and upgrade. That meant that the script operated successfully. Okay, this has been the process of setting up a very simple bash script that enables you to update and upgrade your Linux system. Uh, what else did we cover? We covered a little bit of the of Vim, uh, Vim commands, um, being able to read external commands to uh, the, uh, the file that you're currently working on. Um, and that's pretty much it. So... Uh, Thank you very much for watching. This has been day five of Create a Video and Under Two Hour Challenge. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.